on the line of the circle. Good. Keep that. Good job. Give on the inside a little bit. <coughs> nice. There, from that trot, you have to be able to transition upward. When you now apply your inside leg and you feel the bend increases and the horse drifts out, then you know already, well, I guess I might have to neutralize my inner leg a little bit and use my outside rein and outside leg to support the canter. That's exactly right. Do you understand? If the, so that, that the application of your inside leg does not alter the line or the direction. Super, give inside a little bit, awesome. Awesome. That's right, yeah. Give inside a bit again. Try to keep weight in your left stirrup. Yeah, good job. Weight in the left stirrup that he doesn't push you to the outside so far. Super, give inside again. Excellent. Very good. And then, good. That's okay. That's okay. That's a loss of balance. No big deal. Organization. Tempo regulation. There. Tempo. Line. Bending. Riding ahead. Good. Give on the inside again a bit. That's right. There you go. Very good. Say to yourself two functions with the inner rein. Direction and flexion indication. Good, that's possible. Now you have to say inside rein, you're done. Now let's see if you're su the supporting aids can maintain that. Super, yeah, In a, that's right. Awesome, very good. And then canter on again. Outside rein, good. Make him, yeah, 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 good job. Step in the left stirrup, good. Step in the left stirrup, give on the inside rein again so that you're not ending up as you're riding forward, having to pull your horse around on your inside rein. You're turning. You know, I'm not sure, I'm sure you're also teaching. There is something very simple that I say always. The inside rein is the blinker, the outside rein is the steering wheel. Yeah, it, it's unbelievable how logical that is. <laughs> yeah, good job. Excellent. Very good. Transition to the trot again. Very good. Very good. Now give him a short walk break again. Very good. Makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Good boy. He's quite proud of himself right now. Mm -hmm. This is a super sweet horse, huh? Okay, then we're going to try to do the same to the, to the right. Again, now at this point, you know, it's, like, it's not like that he is that young where you have to coax him into the canters of some sort. Now you have to start that when you make your circle in the trot rising, that here or there, that you, that you prove to yourself that when you sit the trot, things stay the same. That your horse accepts the, your seat in the saddle, there you go and doesn't change exactly. Yeah, 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 good job. And when that doesn't work, then you go to the trot rising again. 
Good, good. Until, there you go, until you feel that you sitting does not disturb anything that you've accomplished prior. Mm -hmm. Good, and then trot rising again. There you go, there. And when you feel he draws to the bit and you have nice forwardness to contact, then you sit and, you, and then you're looking for it to stay the same. That's right, inner leg. Yeah, good job. And then trot rising again. Take your whip once to the inside. Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah. There you go. First, a little bit more forward. Let's see if you can bend him a little bit to the right. And I know you don't want him to, um, uh, to fall out. There. But make sure that in, in your effort not to let him drift out, you forget about the fact that you want to bend. Yeah? Because if that is what you do, then your outside rein, uh, outside rein and leg stay so restricting that pretty soon he doesn't want to go forward anymore to the right. Good. That's right. Like that. There you go. Super. That's inside leg. Inside leg. Yeah. There you go. Make the circle a bit bigger. Soften your outside rein a little bit. Good. That's right. However, do not, not right uh, corners and the short side. Now make the circle a bit bigger. Good. Yeah. But not by staying straighter on the rail, but by being able to, from your inside leg, I always call it, scoop the horse out a little bit. There. Yeah. Good job. That's right. That's right. Good. Plenty. When you now feel he doesn't turn anymore, then you go back to saying outside rein is the steering wheel. Outside leg supports that direction, what the inside rein indicated, so that you basically go back and forth between the two, so that one does not eliminate uh, him listening to the other anymore. Yeah. In a, super. Very good. Yeah. Right bend, when you feel he doesn't turn anymore, yeah. Then you use your outs, that's right. Getting a little tired there, a little fella. Good. There you go, super. That's good riding. So you see now you go in between the two, right? Bending, oops, he doesn't turn anymore. Rehearse the turning aids, back to bending. Rehearse the turning aids. Until one does not eliminate the other. Super. Easy. Hold. Calm your inside hand down a little bit for a moment. Yeah. Bend him once a bit to the right. So that he, yes. Good. We keep it. Keep it. Turn him in a little bit as you flex so that he follows the rein and understands that that inside rein has two functions. Yeah. Good job. That you can soften it should not mean that he doesn't accept, accept it. Good. Flex him a little bit. Indicate the turn. Good. Outside rein. There you go. There you go. See what I'm saying? Yeah? Just because later on you look for the, the opportunity to be soft with your inside rein, that doesn't mean that he doesn't accept the contact in it pre uh, beforehand. Yeah? Very nice. Super. There you go. Flex him to the right. Yeah. Contact there. Good. Easy. Fine. There you go. See, that's what I'm talking about, right? Very good. Then we're going to try one more can of departure. Good. That's right. Wait, wait, wait. There you go. Smooth. You almost, I want, I'd rather have you wait and canter on once you're past the center line towards the rail, towards the next circle point, so that the rail can keep, keep giving you guidance. Yeah, as far as the direction is concerned. Makes it much easier. Good. Make sure he accepts the contact right. Yeah. Good. That's right. And that is just so that when you depart, he's not coming up above it. So make sure he accepts the contact beforehand so that within the transition you can be soft. Good. Flex him once to the right. Contact, contact. Good. He doesn't turn anymore. Then you adjust that with your outside. Good. With your outside aids, stay, try to keep the circle from circle point to circle point even. Good job. 
Good job. There you go. Fine. 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 Excellent. Excellent. There. That would be the place next time around where you would canter on, okay? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Flex right. Good. A little bit there. Good. He's giving it. You go to the next circle point. Go. 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 Excellent. That's right. Flex a little bit right. Yeah. Good. Very nice. Super. Yeah. That's right. Then contact right a bit again. Yeah. Good. Good. Excellent. What a good boy. Transition to trot. Stay on your circle. Circle point to circle point. Super. Super. Yes. Very good. Nice. Super. I think that's good for today. Yes. Reward him. Sweet horse. Really sweet horse, huh? Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. You're welcome.